Hello, Chip. This is Alexander Hall again. Today I'm talking here about a very nice kit coming from AliExpress. This is a class AB amplifier from ST Microelectronic, and this amplifier is a mono single amplifier. If you want to use it in stereo, you have to buy this thing twice, and it's a very nice amplifier because it uses a FET for driving your speaker which is a very nice thing because FET transistors permits to have a very nice range frequency and a very nice bass uh, this is a, a i-fi component which you can use for to to listen uh, some classical music uh, or even uh, modern music because it has a very nice power actually well, this is what we are going to see now and this device here is uh, quite old because actually you can find some kits like this uh, with another component on it uh, this is the cheapest version because uh, actually you can see very little uh, capacitor on it uh, the version of nowadays are a little bit uh, more um, armed with uh, capacitors to provide a better signal but uh, if you have this kind of uh, PCB you have to buy yourself a nice uh, um, power supply with a nice capacitors to uh, to handle uh, a lot of bass if you uh, are listening music contained a lot of bass so the purpose of this video is to test this uh, very nice uh, TDR-72-94 uh, 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 amplifier uh, and a certain site, uh, certain site uh, told about this uh, kit about 100 watts and uh, miscellaneous uh, site uh, they are told for uh, 80, uh, 80 watts so we are going to see today with uh, this um, power supply which is able to provide a symmetrical voltage because those kits need a symmetrical voltage you cannot use a monorail voltage like battery or um, or other stuff like this uh, maybe if you use a voltage splitter you can use it with uh, a battery excepting if you use a voltage splitter so this is a practical application of this uh, power supply uh, as you can see this power supply is uh, took it at 40 volts and 40 volts positive here and negative here so the same module you can see here is connected on this heatsink and as you can see uh, there is a very important thing to know about that actually this kind of kit are provided with this pad this is an isolated pad to connect the integrated circuit on the heatsink but actually if you use this kind of pad the thermal connection between the heatsink and the IC is not the best uh, my advice is to not use this bad pad and connect directly the integrated circuit on the heatsink with the thermal compound you can see behind if you don't do that you cannot use your integrated circuit um, with the height power on 4 ohm speaker for, for the instance uh, what I did earlier is uh, just now is uh, that I was using this pad and trying to make some power on this uh, demi load here and uh, actually what happened is that, is that the integrated circuit protect itself against heating so there is on this kind of uh, IC uh, uh, thermal protection inside I guess uh, uh, also it can have um, uh, protection against uh, short circuits also so what I uh, noticed uh, just now is that 
inter uh, this integrated circuit is protected against uh, the heat so to uh, avoid heat you need a very nice heat sink here for the experiment this is a heat sink with a, a fan on the back uh, because this integrated circuit is able to to become so very hot very quickly so now here you have the So now here you have the uh, power indicated on this uh, device and what I'm going to do here is uh, to... Um, okay, this device is switched on. You, can, you will see the scene wave here. I'm just working with a uh, 400 hertz signal and let's see how uh, power it gives. So let's make play. Okay, you can see the watts are rising a little bit. Okay, so you can see here very near 90 volt, 90 watt RMS for 4 ohm and you can see the scene wave is absolutely perfect on the 4 ohm charge if I increase a little bit of the volume you can see a little bit distortion and you will have 114 watts Hermes for this little IC you can see here and uh, of course this power is given for a 40 volts symmetrical input if you want to use the other power for this IC, which is a very hi-fi uh, integrated circuit, a very, very nice amplifier, you need to use the maximal power. Uh, unless, uh, if you use different voltage according to the sound, you can use the power you need. You can uh, you can provide for this IC uh, two voltage for the for for the instance. And when you use a lot of wattage, you can use uh, low uh, high, voltage, uh, high voltage. And when you want to use a low wattage, you can use a lower voltage. So I okay. This heat sink is very hot. I need to switch on the fan because it's very very hot. And if you don't cool this heatsink, the integrated circuit will protect itself against uh, he uh, the heat. So we are going to make an another test very quick. So let's see the real power. 150, 15 watts, but a with a little bit, a little bit of distortion on the heat, uh, on the scene wave, and. Uh, 84 watts RMS with a, a pure clean scene wave. So the, it was the practical application of this symmetrical uh, power supply I built uh, earlier, and uh, this is all for today. All the fun are working, and don't forget if you want a very very nice class AB amplifier with fat output very clean sound very nice bass very nice uh, height frequencies you can buy this little stuff for a very cheap price and you will be very very happy this is um, another way to listen music without class d amplifier of course class d amplifier are, are also perfect but if you are a music lover this kind of solution can be very nice for you because this is a pure class AB amplifier with a FET output. FET output in audio uh, realm are a very nice solution to keep the uh, large frequencies from the uh, low frequencies until the high frequencies. This is a very perfect for melomen uh, lovers. So. It was all for today, it was Alexander again. I hope you like this video and until you see you soon.